Bismillah, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salam on Rasulullah. You're watching Islam always. We always hope you will always watch Islam always. At islamalways.com. That's on the internet. That's our website for broadcasting audios and videos. And it's always free and you can always download whatever you like, distribute it. And we hope you'll share this message of Islam with everybody. This morning I'd like to talk about a subject about free Hajj and Umrah. Free Hajj and Umrah. And this is the pilgrimage that Muslims make. It's required for all Muslims to make it once in a lifetime. When Allah makes a way for you to do it, to go to Mecca and to perform the certain rituals commemorating those rituals which were done by Abraham, peace be upon him, many, many, many centuries ago. Something that's been reinstituted by Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam 1400 years ago and performed up until this very day. It occurs in the month of Dhul Hijjah. And in that time there are certain days that you do certain things and it's really a wonderful event and it is an obligation for all the Muslims. This morning we have some folks with us that are here and we've been talking about how we can get free Hajj. Now it's expensive to do Hajj because you have to pay for your airfare and your hotels and your food and many things along the way. It can go into the thousands of dollars. So we'd like to find out is there some way for the person who doesn't have the way or the money that they could get something like this uh, without any money. And we'd like to find out also, is there only one time of the year you can do this? Well, at the risk of sounding like an innovator, I'm going to say something, but then I'm going to give you the details. Yes, there is a way you can do Hajj any day you want to. Anywhere you want to. What? And without money. What? And you don't need a visa from the Saudi government. What? What kind of Sufi is this guy? <laughs> Wait a minute. Hold up, hold up. To let you know <laughs> what we're talking about is something that came from Muhammad, peace be upon him, 1400 years ago. And it's a way to take the reward of doing Hajj or the reward of Umrah, the lesser pilgrimage, at any time of the year for anybody anywhere. And how is this accomplished? Well, the Prophet, peace be upon him, told us that anyone who gets up in the morning, performs their wudu, purification, goes to the masjid, the mosque, performs their ritualistic prayer called salat, which is sub and uh, fajr, and then when they've done this, they stay in their place, engaged in some form of worship until the sun comes up, the time of Ishraq or Shuruk, and then they perform two raka, two ritualistic prayer things together called two raka, rakatain. And then Allah will give them this reward of Hajj wa Umrah, Mabru, accepted. And this is recorded as Sahih Hadith in Ibn Majah and Termidhi, two of the six famous collectors of Hadith and it is sahih. So, meaning it is authentic. This is something we should encourage each other to do. Because in encouraging each other to do this, then we also gain the reward for them performing it. Because he, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, peace be upon him, also told us, whoever calls to a good deed will have the reward of the one performing it and take nothing away from the one who performs the good deed. So my purpose and uh, thinking behind all of this was if I'm going to do it, why don't I encourage you also and then I can take this reward myself and then share in the reward that you will get by asking you to stay with me this morning and then let us perform these two rakat. And it's done individually, by the way. It doesn't do as a jama'ah, as a, as a team effort or anything. You can perform this individually. And you have this reward of having a hajj and home. And you can do it every day you like. Now, this doesn't uh, apply to the women. Because a woman, uh, first of all, doesn't have to go to the masjid. Did you know that? In fact, she's not encouraged to go except at the time of Jummah or at the time of Eid. 
because she gets more reward by bringing it home. The woman takes much more reward by taking the easy way and bringing it home. So what could she do? Well, she do the same thing. She can perform her Fajr Salah at home, wait for the sun to come up, and then she can do two rakah and ask Allah to accept it. Why not? So some ladies ask us about this. You know, what about the women? But we don't want to encourage them to do something for them to get less reward. We want to encourage them to get more reward. So this is why we encourage them. Ladies, do read the Quran and do pray and do make dhikr to Allah as much as you can, just like us. But you don't have to get dressed and come out and do what we do. This is for us. Don't put a burden on anybody more than they can bear. Make sense? And it is hardship on the women to try to go out and attend functions like this, especially in the morning. Who's going to take care of the children, etc., etc.? So that's the way you do that. Now, he said, well, how will they learn? How will they know? Well, golly, I didn't know if you thought about it, but why do you think I'm recording this? Why do you think we're doing this? Why do we have these websites? You can have a computer in your house, can't you? And they can turn it on and <laughs> they can watch and you can find on the internet the language that you prefer if you speak Urdu or Arabic or whatever language we have many programs many languages and there are many more on the internet as well so that's an answer for that and uh, now how many are ready to get started and have your Hajj and Umar this morning you got everybody ready okay let's ask the cameraman now to turn and let everybody get a chance to send the salams to all the brothers and sisters around the world, give a big salam alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Until next time, remember us to, um, to go to the internet and see us there at islamalways.com. We're always open 24 hours a day and always plan free parking. Salam alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.